Today on the Tiger Lacrosse Report, we'll preview the Tigers game against the pride of Hofstra. Get ready, fans. The Tiger Lacrosse Report starts now. For an athlete, there's nothing scarier than a torn ACL. Athletes trust us with their care and their careers because we're a recognized leader in sports medicine. Get back to your active life sooner with MedStar Sports Medicine. White Market's ice cream plant is based in Sunbury, Pennsylvania and locally owned and operated. We've been making our ice cream for nearly 50 years. We create roughly 70 flavors of ice cream right now. We use local ingredients especially our cream, which is from our milk plant. The cream is what gives our, our ice cream a rich and creamy texture. Now together with our customers, uh, we've created a, a product called peanut butter indulgence, which will be coming out this summer. It's a peanut butter ice cream with sea salt caramel swirl, and chocolate covered pretzel. How could you go wrong with that? Personally, I love our ice cream. If you come to our house at any given time, you'll find at least five packages of ice cream in our freezer. Uh, our kids grew up eating wise quality ice cream, and now we get to treat our grandchildren to it. It's been a pleasure for me to be tasting ice cream for over 40 years for Wise Markets, and I'm loving every minute of it. Hello, fans, and welcome to the Tiger Lacrosse Report. I'm your host, Spiro Marikas. This Saturday at noon at Johnny United Stadium, the Tigers' regular season will come to an end when they host the Pride of Hofstra. Joining me now, the head coach of the Tigers, Sean Nadlin, and coach... This is for all the marbles right here. A win on Saturday, you're the regular season champ. You get to host the CAA championships next week. Lose, and you're headed to either Hofstra or Drexel. And a great start ends on a down note. Obviously, your players know everything that's on the line here this Saturday. They do. They do. We talked about it when we got back to the locker room after Fairfield, you know, which was about 1130 at night. You know, I told them, you know, obviously, you know, allows us to finish the regular se season CAA 4-1. Regular season champs, you know, obviously a win against a quality opponent in Hofstra, um, be able to host. I was like, all those things are, are great, but the bottom line is we got to be ready to play great lacrosse. You know, we got to be able to play to what we expect to, to play, and play Towson lacrosse is what it comes down to. You know, and everything else takes care of itself when we do that. I think we can't be concerned about you know, you know, hosting and, and all that stuff. We just got to be concerned about stepping on the field from the start, which we've struggled in this year, from the start being ready to play at our best because Hofstra has shown that they come out, you know, guns are blazing and they really jump all over teams. If we allow that to happen, you know, it's going to be a, a long day for us. Well, this is a team that was the last undefeated left in the country until they lost to Drexel a couple of weeks ago, and that was a game where they had a big lead that they blew late in the ball game. This is a very, very dynamic offensive team led by Josh Byrne, who's probably going to be the CAA Offensive Player of the Year, I would assume, and the freshman uh, Ryan Cherney. Those two kids really, really setting them up on the offensive end. Yeah, they have. They pretty much run six guys out there, three attackmen, three middies, and they just, they just do their thing. They all play well together. They share the ball. They're very talented um, shooters. They're very talented off ball, which, which are, you know, is a dangerous uh, thing, you know, but they can also stretch it. So they got a lot of different pieces that they work really well together. Um, you know, again, they, they come out and then they get big leads and it's hard to get back on them. They got a good goalie, you know, they do well facing off. Um, but again, they'll, they'll grind you down and they'll make you pay, you know, off ball, they'll make you pay if you don't close out on them well. You know, if you take bad approaches, you know, all those little things, they, they do pretty well and are playing, you know, good lacrosse right now. And, um, you know, like I said, we got to step on the field ready to go. 
This was a team that was picked third in the CAA in the preseason. So they've kind of surprised some people, and I think nationally surprised a lot of people by being the last undefeated team left. Are you surprised by how well they've played this year? I'm not, you know, knowing what they, were, they had coming back, and uh, especially with a strong goalie and a uh, face-off guy and, and the burn kid back and stuff. I'm not surprised. You know, preseason rankings, I never take those into account. Um, we knew Hofstra was going to be strong. Obviously, they're well coached. You know, Coach Tierney does a great job with those guys and their units. Um, you know, and they compete. They compete against tough competition. You know, and they know. You know, they know how to play lacrosse. So I'm not surprised at that. As a coach and formerly as a player, these games have got to be really games that that excite you leading up to it. I mean, you're anxious but excited because I mean, this is this is this is what it's all about. Top-notch lacrosse. Absolutely, you know, especially that both teams are in the CAA and you got, you know, two, you know, Hofstra Towson's always had, you know, good competitive games and, and kind of a little bit of that Long Island Baltimore rivalry a little bit there, or Maryland, I guess you could say. And, um, you know, it's, it's always exciting. You know, every game's exciting. Um, but final game of the season, you know, like you said, a lot of implications within the CAA, you know, but the biggest thing for us is being able to, to have a great week of practice then stepping on the field and translating that into a great game on game day. For your seniors, this could be their final game at Johnny United Stadium. And, and this is a group that, that you brought in, and they, they perform for you. I mean, they're going to be one of the winningest classes ever at Towson University Lacrosse. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, the class itself is, has played significantly since their freshman year. I think if you look back, I think it was around eight guys in their freshman year either started or played for us as freshmen and that's obviously continued and that's allowed us you know given us those guys as far as experience and depth and playmaking over the course of four years and you know if you look at our kind of track record through those four years you know we had some nice success and um, you know for those guys I want nothing more for them to obviously have a, a terrific year you know that's what we set out to have as a program but you know really a lot for those guys being that they've given so much to the program and to kind of reward that effort, reward that, um, you know, for those guys to, to have a great year as we finish out this regular season as well as get into postseason play. A couple of those guys, Ryan Drenner and Joe Sider, are the guys that you're talking about that basically have started since they were freshmen. Talk a little bit about those two. Uh, it's been funny to see those guys really you know, become best friends. You know, they come in, they didn't really know each other, but being around each other a lot freshman year and then playing, you know, Ryan was actually playing midfield for us, Joe at attack, and uh, just that um, continuity, you know, and chemistry forming was really neat to see in their freshman year and then that translating into years two, three, and four. Um, you know, they've obviously, you know, Ryan's been the, the most consistent offensive player that we've had in a long time here at Towson. Um, you know, but it's a credit to his work ethic. You know, he's a guy that works. You know, he works hard in practice. He takes quality reps. You know, he's very efficient, and it, it's awesome to see him have sustained success over four years and increase his success. And Joe's a guy that's obviously come in. You know, he's kind of I don't want to say a one-trick pony with just being an outside shooter. He's developed his game. He's gone to to be able to you know use his left hand more and be more a little bit more of a ball handler and dodger at times. Show some off-ball touch and, and things like that. So. You know, Coach G's done a good job working with those guys that develop their games into more than what they came in as, and that's continued to help us as a program. All right, this is a big weekend for the CAA because you've got two games on Friday night. One game really doesn't have much impact on anything. The other one does. That's Drexel plays UMass. If Drexel wins, Hofstra knows they can't host the CAA tournament. Will you be looking, scoreboard watching on Friday night to see what's going on between Drexel and UMass? I'll be, I'll be watching the games. I'm not watching to see who wins, who doesn't. You know, I'm preparing for, you know, obviously the, the next phase, you know, which will be CAA play. You know, and if we have to see one of those teams, it kind of gives us a, another look at those guys, you know, at that point. So I'll, I'll be watching the game. Um, you know, while I'm probably sitting at a high school game on Friday night, uh, Calvert Hall plays St. Mary's right down the road. So I'll be there with my, you know, iPhone and hopefully watching the game and, and tuning in. No, nope. the best part is the Tigers know if they win, they host the CAA tournament the first week in May. The Tigers and the Pride scheduled to face off at noon on Saturday at the U. We hope you will come on out. If not, Hunter Lockie and I will have the broadcast for you on TowsonTigers.com or you can look at it on the LAC Sports Network. 
So that'll do it for us today on the Tiger Lacrosse Report. For head coach Sean Nadlin, I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for joining us, and as always, go Tigers.